I love Valentine's Day though. I love it. I love the love. I, I love, love the love. chocolate. I remember her being like, you want to see it? And shows it to me and I'm like, in my face. Oh, it's like full <laughs> nude, nude. Full <gasps> nude. Like you can do whatever you want. Fast forward, I'm giving him a V-Day <laughs> The margaritas and my tummy no, start making no, some moves. No. <gasps> oh my god, no! I saw him when he was working at the In-N-Out drive-through in my hometown. He was gagged. You and your G wagon? Hey! No! Am I still high maintenance? Me? <laughs> the following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Macy's is committed to empowering the next generation to create a brighter future for all. That's why Macy's supporting UNCF, an organization that funds scholarships for students at historically black colleges and universities now through February 29th. Help Macy's and UNCF continue their impact by rounding up your purchase in store or donating online. Pretty Basic loves Macy's and not only do we love them for their amazing deals, amazing fashion, home, everything that they have, but we love them so much because they are always finding ways to give back. And that's something we really believe in. You guys know that Macy's sells so many incredible brands, and I also appreciate their philanthropic efforts so much towards helping so many different groups in all of our different communities. Also, if you guys go to the Macy's website, they actually have a section where you can shop diverse owned brands, which I think is absolutely incredible. I'm looking at the website right now. They have different categories of like Asian American and Pacific Islander owned brands, black owned and founded brands, Latino and Hispanic owned and founded brands, LGBTQ owned and founded brands, and women owned and founded brands, which is just absolutely amazing because obviously Obviously, it's so important to help out all these different communities, and it just makes shopping that much easier. Just to name a few that are sticking out to me in these categories, there's Pattern Beauty by Tracy Ellis Ross. I've seen her products. I love her. And I've seen her products, and they look absolutely amazing. I had no idea until right now that Simple Human is Asian and Pacific Islander owned, and I love their products so much. I have them all throughout my house. I'm looking at my Simple Human trash can right now. They have so much stuff from Zule Kitchen, which is an amazing brand for all types of like homeware and appliances and kitchenware and things like that. Overall, Macy's has so many amazing brands. I love their philanthropic efforts. And also, I think it's awesome that they make it so easy to be able to support our own communities and other communities as well. Get excited to give back and learn more at Macy's.com slash purpose. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I am your co-host, Remy Ashton Cruz. Ooh, and I'm your other co-host, Alicia Marie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alicia Marie McDonald. That just sounds so weird. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Rem. Your first one engaged. To my Galentine. Galentine's Day. So excited. Yes, my first Valentine's Day engaged. So excited. Uh, I want to plan things, but I haven't planned anything yet. But I mean, when this comes out, it'll already be happening. So go check out my stories or watch my vlog if you want to see what I did. Do you have any Valentine's Day plans? I have... um, a night of Alicia. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. As it should be. No, probably a little Galentine's thing. Um, I, I don't feel like going to a nice restaurant this year, um, probably because I procrastinated and they're probably all booked up by now anyway. Mm-hmm. When I first moved to LA, I had no idea how far in advance people book out valentine's day oh yeah in major cities i booked mine i think at the like at the first or the second of the year i remember it was valentine's what yeah i booked <laughs> it that far ago <laughs> i did damn yeah, i did i mean Just as you I should have it booked because like i don't know i mean what are your thoughts on valentine's day do you like it as a holiday or what, what's your vibe I've never been obsessed. Obviously, I mean, in elementary school, I loved it because yeah. you had your grams yeah. and you like gave one to each and the every, everyone would make their little mailboxes with the tissue boxes. So cute. And then you put your little grams in each and then you could always tell who had a crush on you because they'd put like a heart on yours, but not other people. <gasps> Did you ever do anything like super embarrassingly simpy as a kid what for do you the mean? boy that you liked? Um, Not embarrassing. Oh my God. I have so many stories. Wait. That like haunt me to this day, <laughs> to this day. I'll Please tell one. Share. Yeah, I'll tell one. <laughs> um, and then I'll get into how much I love Valentine's Day. But I had the biggest crush on this kid. I'll just give him his first name. His name is Luke. When I was like Luke. in, I don't know, first grade, second grade, like very young. And uh, he actually, my parents bought the house that we live in from his parents. So like in our backyard, <laughs> I shouldn't have been. Wait, I had an idea where this is going and I'm already like, oh shit, that's embarrassing. But please finish. Please finish. You have to. You already committed. You committed. It's okay. It was forever ago. Luke's not listening. Luke <laughs> lived in my house before I did. And did you have the same room? 
No, I had a sister's ring. Oh, okay. The one with the doll wallpaper. Oh. But um, they, I think they must have like been there when they were building the house because their handprints were like in the cement <laughs> still in my backyard. <laughs> and I had the biggest crush on him and I just like got to like with my hand <laughs> I would have done the same fucking thing. <laughs> fucking eight. Let me have this. I know. I would have done the same thing. And I remember that wasn't even my cringy story. Oh. I remember it was like Valentine's Day, and you know you you had to give everybody in class a yeah. Valentine gram. Like that was the like your mom got a list. It was like you have you to. You have to. You everybody. can't leave out anyone. That's Absolutely. so mean. And I love that rule. Um, but I remember I would I wanted to like get him something special, <laughs> and so I. There was like a liquor store that was down by my dance studio. So in between class, I would like, I ran there and I bought him like a bunch of candy bars and like a little card. And I like hand wrote him a card and like put the candy in there and then like slipped it to him. And I remember being like, this is so good. He's going to fall in love with me, whatever. I mean, I'm sure he didn't care, but it was so incredibly embarrassing because I didn't tell anybody I did this. And then like a week later, my mom was like, Remy. Like, why didn't you tell me that you were going to give Luke a card with candy Oh, your mom in didn't it? know. No, I didn't tell anybody because I was like, this is my secret. Obviously, he went home and told his mom, probably like this weird girl is like sending me these, giving me candy. And his, you know how moms talk. So his mom told, told my mom and I was so embarrassed. And like that embarrassment has stuck with me my entire life. It's so funny though, because at eight, that probably felt like such a big deal no. like, oh my god it scarred me i think about him often now and like an oh why did i do that way wait it's fine i mean it's fine but i'm still so I embarrassed so by see, it. were you sitting next to him like i could see you sliding it over and then like tucking the hair behind your ear i and think then we sat like, across the class and, and then i, think you, I got like, up and walked over like you know I, like sitting there <laughs> and being like okay go go now go now and like giving it to them wait that's Just so cute young love that was not reciprocated oh and you probably thought you gave that to everyone maybe oh, my mom embarrassed me so hard about it though <laughs> he probably was like yeah mom i got some king size bars and she's like oh who did that remy cruz and she's probably like oh Sue's would do that <laughs> <laughs> anyways um that was my little like uh one of my first trauma stories of, of Valentine's Day I love Valentine's Day though as I mean, a holiday it's cute even as like a single girl love it the pink the hearts the candy, the love, the dressing up, the overpriced dinner. I love it all. You know what it is for me? Even my last relationship, I remember it being Valentine's Day. And I'm just like, you're just doing this because you're like, you're supposed to. Like, mm. and that I think is why I don't love it. I would rather it be a random day. I mean, okay. But that, I, and that's but, people's thing. Yeah. But I also like, it's fun and it's cute, but. I don't know. I mean, if you were to ask Cal, he's like, Valentine's Day is, is a day made up by corporations. And like, I love it. Okay, but honestly, some man probably made, the, made up the idea. When did it start? Let's look it up. Cupid. Oh, duh. Don't even Sorry. look. Don't even look. It was Cupid. <laughs> Cupid. And he shot his arrow. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it definitely, it's like a, it's a consumer holiday and I totally understand, but I love the love. I, I love, love the love. chocolate. I love that February gets a holiday. That's what I love. Other than my national birthday. <laughs> the week before. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, I love it though. And I'm so excited. And we thought for this episode, we could just talk a little bit about like Valentine's Day in general. Mm -hmm. We have some good stories to, to throw you. And then also we had you guys write in some of your Valentine's Day stories and we're going to react whether they were silly, cringy. Actually, you know what? It's going to make me feel so much better because um, my two trauma Valentine's Day stories were Luke F. <laughs> the hand, you know what? Sorry. Can I interrupt real quick? Sure. I thought you were going to say like, you took a photo of your hand, like it on was, his we didn't handprint. Have, we didn't have photos yet. No, oh my God. And that was like the, the Valentine or something. Like I thought you were going to be like, yeah, I like sleep in the same room. Oh. That like I thought you were going to go that way. You know what? I was so young. I didn't even, I couldn't get there yet. And, and thank God I could, <laughs> I was such a weirdo. Like I, I was too. Mm, I remember, <laughs> oh my God, there's this guy that's obsessed with in middle school. Oh, wait. And it was the time of like, everyone was going to Disneyland. Like oh. everyone had their passes. They'd go to Disneyland. And like the big thing was like, you would go get these, those like leather braided bracelets that are like yes. on the way to Thunder Mountain. Uh, Frontierland. Yes. Yep. And um, you would go like get your name engraved. And, and you I switch it with someone? No. I like got one for my crush. Like I was so scary. Oh, I hope really? he's well. No, it's like actually so embarrassing. I hope he's well. I understand if I had a restraining order. Like <laughs> that was really scary of me. Oh. I think back to a lot of things where I was just like, I just loved so hard. Also, you're a gift person. You've always been. I got it for myself though. 
Oh, I thought you got it for him. No, I wore it myself. <laughs> I would, no, 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 no. I would have done the same fuck. I would have done the same And then they're shit. like, is that about me? You're like, no. It says like J like R. Like yeah, the, like the yeah, very yeah, yeah. specific. It's yeah. like- it just says Jason. <laughs> it was like pretty much that bad. Um, But yeah, my other uh, Valentine's Day trauma story is when I lost my virginity. Oh yeah, that's a, on Valentine's that Day. Is, that is a big jump from middle school. When I got scammed the house- I feel, if you want to dive into it, I think. I mean, I've told that story a bunch of times, but it's just like when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of Luke and I think of losing my virginity. Lou, zing, like Luke, Lou, zing your virginity. Good job. My favorite part is that when you lied to Ollie about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just give everyone the Spark Notes version because I'm sure we all know it, but. Also, I feel like the first time you talked about it, you danced around it versus oh, really? like, I feel like it was more like, yeah, my friend when like now knowing it was Ollie, I feel like gives more context. Oh, okay. This again, this is not my finest moment. This whole episode already is off to me being a weirdo and a scammer. <laughs> um, I, it was 2000. What year was it? Uh, 18. 2018. I was 23. I was feeling no longer like a spry young chicken. I was feeling no longer 22. No, exactly. I was just like, everyone's doing it. The fornicating. Once <laughs> it my turn. Word. Once it my turn. And so I was like, I was ready. I was just, you know what? I just want to get it over with, which I do think we could like go into a full episode about that of like yeah. deciding. Uh, Getting it over with. Feeling, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feeling like, do you want to just, as a late bloomer, do you want to get it over with? Do you want to wait? Do you want to, like, I was really battling all these sorts of feelings, but um, I had been casually seeing someone that I wanted to fall in love with me so badly just casually seeing them though. And Ollie and I were like, it's Valentine's. I don't know where you were. We should have brought you out too. But we were like, it's Valentine's day. Let's go do a cute little dinner together, like a romantic dinner. Let's go out together. So we got all dressed up, went out to a beautiful romantic dinner. And while I'm at this beautiful romantic dinner with Ollie, the lights are low. I got him a Dyson hair dryer. Wait, wait. <laughs> My Valentine's day gift to him. Really? People give like, like, a candy bar. I love big. Okay. I know you do. He's probably like, it's not Christmas. He's like, I didn't even get, he probably didn't, didn't get you anything. I don't remember. But like, I was too clouded. I, I would have been so, you were like, I'm going to do this so he doesn't get mad at me for my evil plan that's I about guess to go down. Maybe I didn't even know at the dinner, we're like exchanging gifts and I get a you up text, which I was just so. Wait, you never told me that. Yeah. You I, didn't know that. I didn't know about the you up text. Oh yeah, I got a you up text as I'm I at dinner. I thought you like, pre-planned like oh I'm gonna oh no it wasn't I assumed at all. you got ready no, I knowing you. where you were going I that got night. scammed I had no idea I had no idea and I fell into the trap I got a you up text and I was like ooh but it was like late it was like 10 p.m I was oh. like Ollie I told Ollie he's like who are you texting because and I turned my light my brightness really <laughs> down low he's like who are you texting I was like no one he's like I can see you're texting I can see your text I'm like no 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 nobody so I'm like let's go out to the bars because then I was like Oh, I got to stay out late now to like see what's going to happen. I can't go home and sleep. And so all these like the straight bars. Being, no, no, no. We went to WeHo. Oh, you, you pulled one for him. We You're went like, to WeHo. Yeah. Cause I was like, let's go out. And it was, it's so fun. And so we were out there. We were having so much fun. We were meeting all these people. A fight broke out right next to me. Like I got dragged into a fight. Did you know that part? That happens to you a lot. Oh my God, you guys, there was like a literally like a fist fight, like a throw down. And I got like, I was literally like there in the crossfire of it. Wait, I kind of want to know the drama. I, it was over. You know how people watch around and sell those like flowers yeah. in, in around there was some drama with like a flower situation oh. and so I just happened to like be in the crossfire and so Ollie and I were just like this is too much let's go and then I got like a, I'm going home text you should come over and I was like oh my god you reroute uber yes no but and I was like Ollie <gasps> I'll drop <you. gasps> I'm getting so tired I gotta go home and so he's like okay so I go home he goes I drop him off at home I go to my house I immediately location off. I go turn like you know start changing, showering, shaving all the things. Oh, but I did everything. Shower. But I didn't think I was going to lose my virginity this night. By the way, which I've already gone into detail about. I just I seriously thought you got ready for dinner, knowing, knowing. No, I had no I idea. I always thought that was the case. No, it was like 
I never heard from this man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have expected I, who that. Who has the audacity to send a you up text on, on Valentine's, Valentine's Day? Day? That's what I've been saying for years. Damn. That's like actually so that's mean. So, no, that's so embarrassing that's, for him. That's so embarrassing for me. No, 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 no. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. And so then I remember viv- like vividly, I put my phone in my bathroom when I was like getting ready and Ollie calls me. And keep in mind, this is the one and only time I have ever lied to Ollie Abbas. The mm-hmm. only time I learned my and lesson. learned your lesson. And I never will again because I never never hear the end of it granted it was a big thing so I'm getting ready and he calls me he's like you know you can tell me where you're going I was like I told you I'm going to bed and he's like Remy you in the towel no literally (laughs) oop me nair waxing you you literally (laughs) mid-shave oh I'm going to bed no me waxing like grabbing my wax strip off (laughs) no I'm going to bed me waxing my mustache and so um he's like you know you can tell me you can tell me you can tell me and I was like I'm not I'm going to bed I'm going to bed he's like Okay, well, just so you know, you could have told me the truth. I love him. Hangs up. I was like, yeah, <laughs> not my, pro- not my <laughs> problem tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> and so I get myself in the Uber, location off, <laughs> driving all the way to Redondo I, Beach. Please watch the video. Her, her, <laughs> what she's doing is so Legs funny. Crossed in the back of the Uber. Toes pointed. I get there. Wearing heels. You're probably wearing your little super. I don't remember. Superga white. Definitely those the, little or the chunky. thigh high boots. I don't know. I could see you in the thigh highs. I think probably like a little pajama set of some sort, perhaps. Oh, maybe I had something up my sleeve. I can't remember honestly. Um, and then the rest of the night was traumatizing because like I didn't know I was gonna lose my virginity and I lost my virginity. It was like a whole thing. Um, but I did get in the car the next morning, cheering, scry- crying, screaming, called everyone I know. The Uber. <laughs> I would love to reach out to that Uber driver. Hope he's well. Hope I did say thank you to him while I got out of the you, car. Thank you so thank you much. So much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's the story of my Valentine's Day. I, I, for years, I always thought you knew going into it what was happening. I didn't I'm know sure he texted you. I have sure no I idea he texted you. Mm-mm. I just remember Ollie knowing that you were lying and was like, Yeah. But I've you know never what? lied to him again. And I've never lied to you. Thank you. I would never lie now. She's like, I'm so against lying. Yeah, I'm so against lying. You have no idea. Um, I'm going to be honest. I didn't realize that we were getting sponsored by NYX Cosmetics no. on the podcast. You, I entered like some of their contests years ago. The like, Halloween. Oh, like, no, no, no. It was, they were looking for like the next beauty person. Ooh. I forget what it was exactly. I just, I love them. I mean, hi, NYX hi, family. We love you. Well, I, I mean... I've been a fan of NYX also for so long. Like obviously as OG beauty gurus, we've been obsessed with NYX. Uh, I also didn't know that they were going to sponsor us with their ProFix stick concealer. And if you've been watching my vlog, I got a whole bag of them in the mail. I was so excited. I mean, I thought it was regular PR to know that they're sponsoring. I mean, if you watch my vlogs, I've been using them. I love it. It's so good. (sighs) I feel like they really came in and shook the beauty community. The concealers. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. The Marshmallow Primer. The oh, milk. <laughs> milk. Oh, I, milk. I just bought it recently because I want to do a throwback makeup routine. I Have you seen that you can use it as a really good highlighter? Oh my too? God, like I didn't they're even coming think about back. that. Well, all to say this podcast is presented by NYX Cosmetics <laughs> Pro Fix Stick Concealers. These concealer sticks are super affordable. They're only $9 and you can get three shades for less than the price of a higher end one. It's such a good deal. Truly, you guys, I have been dealing with quite a bit of like hyperpigmentation. Again, if you watch my vlogs, I've been using them. They're awesome. You can use them for not only like spot concealing, but you can also use them to, you know, conceal spots. You can use it for correction, brightening. I'm always on the hunt for a new concealer and this one was awesome. And again, such a good deal. Color correcting is made easier with six color correctors for all skin tones and 18 complexion shades. The best part is you can build this up and it doesn't cake up on you, which is so true. I am always looking for a very full coverage concealer for my cheeks specifically. And this one blew me away. It looks like a natural flawless finish, which we love. And you can get your NYX Cosmetics Pro Fix Stick Concealers at your favorite makeup retailer and at NYXCosmetics.com. Okay, guys, welcome to a new segment here on Pretty Basic that we are calling Galaxy AI is the new It Girl. It girl. It girl. She does it all. She does it all. Big thank you to Samsung for working with us. So Samsung so graciously gave us these phones and we're so excited about these are absolutely stunning. So they're the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultras, top of the line. There's so many features 
that I'm just obsessed with. I literally used it the other day. We had like a filming day. She told me off camera, guys. She was like, the camera is insane. No, like- also, Samsungs are known for how beautiful their cameras are. And that is like, that's the only reason I ever like, need to upgrade my phone is to get a better camera every time. Cause like that is our job. The quality, we I filmed with it the other day. It was seriously beautiful. Crystal clear. Crystal clear in a way that I was like, wow. Like I was actually speechless. Mind blown. But Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I'm so, I, I believe the time you're hearing this. It is Valentine's Day. It is Day. Valentine's Day. <gasps> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Woo. Single Awareness Day. Woo. Woo. <laughs> I mean, I've talked about this before. I love Valentine's Day. As a February baby, it's mm, my second favorite holiday because it's so fun. I love the hearts. I love the pink. I mean, I think Valentine's Day is great whether you are in a relationship or you are single or you're going to do Galentine's Day, whatever it is. It's such just, it's just a fun day to eat candy and be cute and go out to dinner and have a fun time. So I personally, this Valentine's Day, it's my first Valentine's Day engaged. Oh my God. Ah! It does make it different. It is like any way to celebrate any excuse to celebrate I'm all over and I want to like step out this Valentine's Day we've had a lot of Valentine's Days where Cal and I just stay home we've had ones where he's planned me a lot of fun stuff I actually haven't talked to you about this yet and it just recently came into my mind and I feel kind of badly because my birthday is a week before Valentine's Day and I mean that already is like financial pressure on Cal I'm sure and planning pressure on Cal so I think moving forward I want to take on Valentine's Day and plan that for him because it's it's a lot for him to plan my birthday I'm sure well also you are Miss Remy Ashton and And we don't, we just don't want to disappoint you. (laughs) No, never disappointed. But I'm like, I love planning. So I think I'm going to tell him at least this Valentine's Day, I want to plan. He did the whole planning and the proposal. It's the least that I can do. I already made a reservation for dinner, which I'm really excited about. I booked a delicious sushi restaurant. Oh, I planned dinner. I'm going to plan like a fun day. And then also I need to figure out what outfit I want to wear. And like, I want to step out. I'm feeling very confident lately. I'm feeling hot, but I've been needing help finding the perfect outfit to really wow him even the vibe because it's like do you want to do a red dress everyone does a red you know red like it's dress. like also finding inspo which this is my favorite feature no, on the phone <laughs> this is crazy it galaxy really, ai really is that girl i've been so obsessed with the galaxy s24 ultras galaxy ai there's a new feature called circle to search this blew my mind so if you're online on like a bunch of different websites you know there's always like really cute photos of like a dress or shoes or yep yep Yep, 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 she is, uh, we have our little model over here just demonstrating what happens. You know, you'll be online. I see a beach, I see shoes, I see earrings, like, like a very basic red dress, but I don't know where it's from and there's no leads. You literally circle it and it will pull up other photos, website, any info you might need. It's also, it's powered through Google, which is why it's so accurate. That makes and sense. I think, cause there used to be apps. Do you remember like all the old apps forever ago that you'd have to download? You'd have to make an account. Reverse image search. Yes, you would reverse image search. It would be like, where can I buy this top that this celebrity was wearing? Now, literally, if you're on social media, if you're online, all you have to do is hold down the button and circle it. And it will show you not only the exact option, but multiple other options that are very similar. Obviously, Cal is cocktails with Cal. So I honestly, I really want to make him like a cute cocktail drink. You should. And like I could find a photo of something that looks beautiful, but I'm not quite sure how to make it. I circle it. Boom. Recipes, photos, inspo, all right there. It's something that is new now. And I already don't know how we've lived without it. I'm also, I'm like, I'm sad. I'm like, why didn't I think of this? I'm just thinking music festival season's coming up too. Like it's gonna be so easy. <laughs> Valentine's Day for me, music festival season no, for you. <laughs> I mean, Valentine's Day for me too. We've already established that the camera's insane, but it literally goes up to 200 megapixels. That is not even real. And I, I'm so sorry. No, it's insane. Like the camera I shot my first YouTube videos on, I think was like maybe eight. Eight. I was, was gonna like, say it eight. Was a microwave. Insane. A microwave. <laughs> well, while you're prepping for your Valentine's Day um, romantic date, I'll probably be having a photo shoot for my <laughs> online dating app. <gasps> I love it. And I'm gonna use the camera. I've never experienced a camera like the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. It is. It's like crystal clear. But it gets even better because the camera is also boosted with Pro Visual AI engine enhancing details. So when you take the photo, it'll automatically denoise it. It'll like do its magic on it. And you can spend so much less time editing your photos. Also speaking of concerts, if you're going to a concert and maybe it's nighttime, I mean, usually concerts are at nighttime. The nightography zoom is amazing. It can basically like zoom smoother, brighter, crisper to get you a way better photo, video, whatever it is that you need. And you can have memories that will last a lifetime. That's actually more realistic because nothing's worse than when you go to a concert, you spend all your effort and energy trying to film it. And it turns out like, 
horrible so quality. Shaky. You can't even see. And this is this is insane. If, so if you're gonna invest in the concert tickets, like you have to have those memories. I'm obsessed. For me to say that about tech says a lot. Like this is seriously so innovative. I can't believe that I've gone this long without Circle to Search. Like there's so many amazing features. Also, there's more. We'll get into them because like translate one. <gasps> the translate one. I love it. I want to have my grandma here and I want to like do a conversation. Wouldn't wait, that, that would be, be really iconic. cool? I know. I wait, think it'd be really fun. Wait, you, oh my God. I know. I know. I know. I've already cried about it. <laughs> I know. So you guys heard it here. Galaxy AI is available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's seriously amazing. Go to samsung.com slash pretty basic to check it out. And with that, let's get back to the episode. Well, you know what it is though, is it's the, the location off says everything you need to know. Yeah. You're, you're so right. Like, it's, it's almost worse to see location off because you're like, oh, someone purposely turned it off. But like sometimes it just says no location found. You're like, oh, they must be like in a bad service area. Maybe. Maybe. It's just, but if it's happening every Friday night. But if then my friend's know. like, I'm going to bed. And I thought it was, I'd be like, oh, this bitch. <laughs> I'd be like, this bitch. Poor Ollie. Oh my God. I just remember when you told me, I was like, one, I was like, oh my God. I was like so excited. But then I was like, on Valentine's Day? No, I like, it's so bad. But also I'm like, what a fabulous Valentine's Day story. I mean, you'll never forget it. One Thank God for the you books. have a podcast where you need to talk about stories. Where about I, life. yes. No, I like, I, I did that one for the plot. Cause like, it's such a good Valentine's Day story. I can't think of really any other ones that were like, I have a really wholesome one with Cal during peak COVID where he set me up a picnic inside. Cause we couldn't go out. Wait, I remember you sending me a photo so of nice. that. It's oh, so I don't even remember. I'm sure I have embarrassing Valentine's Day stuff. I just feel like I don't remember any of it. Like, honestly, <sighs> I remember being really, this is not even like tea or whatever, but I just remember, you know, like in high school. So in elementary school, you have to give a Valentine gram to everyone. <gasps> yes. In high, in high school, school, you, you don't, don't have to. I remember like always being so nervous that like no one would like send me one. And then one time, like I remember my mom sending me one. I was so excited because it looked like someone sent me one. <laughs> and then I never, like I never had the thought that I could send myself some. <gasps> I forgot I about wish Valentine's I Day grams. That's yeah, so real. I Valentine's forgot about Day grams. That. And you'd be like, oh my God. Like you go like Glenn the, Coco. Yeah. Oh my God. A little Regina George moment. Or and they come to your Gretchen. classroom and, and deliver them. Mm -hmm. I ASB forgot about Wait, that. you were in ASB, right? Yes, I was. I know. Oh my God. I loved ASB because you could get Didn't you class. do that though? Yeah. To like give them out. Oh, I'm so jealous. It was so fun. That always looks like fun to like get out of class. Just, yeah. Being in ASB meant that you'd never had to go to class. It was the best. I'm excited to be in a committed relationship now older and experience Valentine's day. Cause maybe my thoughts will change. I know obviously it like, it's different when you're just like seeing someone or talking to someone, but like committed, like you're engaged I and know. this is like huge. Wait, okay. So I need to plan my, my, um, I was going to say Thanksgiving, my Valentine's day with Cal. Cause I want to plan this year. He planned so much with the proposal last year. My birthday's the week before. It's a lot on the poor sweet man who is not the best planner. So I would like to plan. Mm -hmm. What should I do? I already booked dinner a long time ago. What activities should I do? I mean, just describe activities. Are you wanting like I'm sorry. I just thought I of Samantha gonna... from Sex in the City. The, the, the like, sushi. The sushi when she does the homemade sushi and it's like laying all over her body. Oh! And then he doesn't come home and she's pissed at him because she laid for three hours with the sushi and then she throws it at him. That's like one of my favorite oh, things I'd ever. Oh, I'd be so upset. She was like, I can't do that. It was so funny. Cooking with a rim. I mean, I could do dark. I could do that. <laughs> I'm going to come get some content. <laughs> Do you need me to film? <laughs> if you ever had an OnlyFans, it would be like that. <laughs> Cooking the, through me after dark. I have to say, I've, oh my God, so good. Mm -hmm. I watched like Lauren take Mia's OnlyFans content and it's like, it takes a real best friend to do that. Like she'll be on the floor. Like I know you would get on the floor. Oh, I, I'd be like lights. Yeah. Lights. You'd make me look so good. Oh, if you ever, oh my God, oh, are you going to do a, like a, what is it? Boudoir. 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 Boudoir oh, wait. For we your could wedding. do that for Valentine's Day. Well, your wedding. Oh. That's like, well, you could do it whenever. We could do like a cute little one for Valentine's Day for a gift. Wait, I kind of love that. I would so shoot it. That's a really good idea. Yeah, I will literally I like you. learn film. I would only trust you, you to do that. Film. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's an option. We need activities. I'm like, we could do. Wait, like it could be hike. like a scavenger hunt. And then the book is the, the final prize. gift. Wait, I love that idea. I love that. Okay, this was good Sometimes I feel like I have really good ideas and it's just because I've been single for so long. <laughs> They're just like very like um, 
just out of out of left field and also very like extravagant which i like no i like i feel like that's cool but again i mean obviously you can do it whenever you want but traditionally like for your wedding like you give the book oh is that a thing Uh uh-huh it's a thing oh i didn't know that again you can do it whenever but like that's the whole the whole thing is like look who you're marrying oh i didn't know that was a thing it's like this is for you oh or maybe just growing up in like the christian world where like you like save yourself for marriage like that was like also a thing like is that it like yeah. right before the, like the day of the wedding. I don't know when. Oh my god. I've never told you this story. Okay. Oh my god, I might need like a second to fully remember it because this is the thing. I'm like I have stories Alicia just fucking remember them. This isn't about me, but this is about my friend, a really good friend who um she oh my god, I forgot about this. Actually, one of our friends. Okay. Um she did the most beautiful sexy boudoir shoot, right? Ooh. For her husband. Okay. Um and she like it was a little bit before the wedding so she like takes all the photos. I remember her being like, "You want to see it?" and shows it to me and I'm like, "I have tits and vagina in my face." Oh, it's like full nude, <laughs> it was nude. Full <gasps> nude. Like you can do whatever you want. A lot of people do like cute lingerie cute. or whatever. Okay. She did like she did a good mix of both. Okay. It was so artsy, like so cute. She looked good. Okay. Like she looked so good so she like shows me everything she's like yeah i'm gonna give it to him and then she said it was so cute watching him Aww. like each flip his face was just like Aww. like like doesn't know i feel like cows would be the same way like, just like <laughs> like so like holy shit like they get turned on right away but then they're like fuck what do i do and then like you're watching and like it's just it's so funny um so whatever people do it different ways but she did it then leading up to her wedding, obviously she has like her bridal party. They have the bachelorette, um, the bachelor uh, trip. Keep in mind, back in the day, you would just take your photos, develop them at like, I don't know, Staples, a CVS or like whatever, drop it, et cetera. But um, now a lot of stuff's online and the cloud is a thing. Okay. You know, like when we'll do photo shoots, a lot of times the photographers will send us like an album online. Yeah. So that's essentially what happened. So it's kind of like a, a cloud situation, but she has her whole shoot on there. They get married. It was beautiful. It was amazing, stunning, cried. Oh my God, obsessed. Um, one of the best weddings I've ever been to. The next morning, shit goes down. Oh no. Keep in mind, she had done this shoot months before, like months before. The morning after the wedding, there's this massive group text with like 30 numbers. Most of them she doesn't even recognize, but her husband and her dad's numbers are in this group chat. The link is a literal link to her shoot. <gasps> Who sent it? We have no idea to this day. No. No idea. No. No idea. The, no one tracked it backwards? So their first thought is one, what are these numbers? Two, holy shit, her dad is in this. And the last thing anyone wants is her dad to open this link because it's her naked. Oh. So my. luckily her husband like sees it and everyone's like SOS. So they, they, they figure out a way to like stop her dad from saying, they're like, they call the mom. They're like, make sure he like, like take his phone. Don't ask questions. Take the phone. We'll explain later. Like, I just, feel like I'd be less worried about my dad and more worried about who has the link. No. Like, who's, who's giving this out. So their first fear was like, holy shit, we have to make sure he doesn't see this. Right. Then they look through all the numbers. None of them are recognizable. Oh, that's so scary. It's so scary. It's so scary and it's so sad. And she was just like, oh, well, I mean, that like, I feel so so validated. Yeah, no, so so sad. And also like, we had a theory who we think it was, but also we don't know if that's true. Was it a burner number? Like you can't trace the number back? I didn't ask too many questions because I just felt bad being like- give me the number, I'll find it. Oh my God. (laughs) Yeah, like she was obviously very upset, but she also was like- I mean, I like, I guess you just never know, yeah. especially uploading anything to the internet, even yeah. if it is quote private, like obviously people could hack, but she was like, was it a hacking thing? Is it someone I know who had the link? Cause not many people even had that link. Well, also like even getting them developed like at CVS or something, mm-hmm. like someone can see those there, but like, that's so sad for her. I've never had nudes leaked. I can't imagine the validate, like validating. <laughs> you said no. validating earlier. Validate- yeah. Oh my God. I can't imagine the violating feeling. Yeah. Of especially something like that, that was just supposed to be for whether it's your husband, your partner, or like your boyfriend, whatever. I have a friend who recently did a shoot, but just shot it on Polaroids. So there's one of one. Oh. You don't have to get it developed. It's just there and it's good. That's what we should do for your shoot. Yeah, I would do that. Polaroid. Really That's actually a really smart. Yeah. Dare I say life hack. Life <laughs> hack for your nudes. I feel as though we need to look deeper into who sent this. I assume she did. We're friends, but we're not like best friends. So I'm, I'm curious too. No, like there's a way we could figure it out. We should. I just feel like that's really scary. I just, it's just weird that the dad and the husband 
So someone had to have their numbers, obviously. Or maybe exactly. they looked it up online. I don't know. I, I don't know. Does she have enemies? There's one person who she mentioned, and I remember thinking like, oh, it might be that person, which is insane. I, so it also just shows how you have to like, I mean, you have to, like, you really have to trust people. I feel as though that's illegal. Oh Definitely. no, a thousand percent yeah. illegal. Mm. But it's just, cra- it's just crazy. Isn't that so sad? That's so sad. <sighs> Maybe just cause it's strangers. I think I would freak out more about like my, like my dad. Like I can't imagine I would be, I would like scream. I would scream. Like at least I think like, I get the strain. I get, I get the strangers, but mm-hmm. maybe because it's like, oh my God. I guess comment down below. What would freak you out more? Your dad or strangers? I think I'd be scared of strangers. I would be scared of strangers too, but at least like, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. I just- I also just don't like, don't want to think about it. I don't, I don't want to think about it at all. <laughs> Let's the, move on. The Polaroid thing is is a move. Genius life hack. That's a move. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when's the shoot? When are we doing it? Um, I mean, tomorrow. I'm free. <laughs> It's a good idea. It Honestly, is. the polar, I like that a lot. But yeah, that's really, it was a sad story, but like, what the fuck? That's yeah. crazy. No, we need to get to the bottom of that. I, I will be, I'll be doing some reverse <gasps> searching. Pretty basic PI. PI. PBPI. PBPI. <laughs> All right, let's get into some V-Day stories and we will react to these. Okay. Hi, Rem and Alicia. I've been watching Remy since her college days. Love you. And I'm so happy I was introduced to Alicia through her vlogs over the years. Love you girls so much. So my story is from eighth grade, already traumatizing. (laughs) It's not super crazy, but maybe a little on the cringy slash cutie side. It was at the end of the school day on Valentine's Day. I went to get my violin in the orchestra room and tucked into the pocket of the case was a fake rose and a $20 bill. I was an awkward kid and boys never really approached me. So I was absolutely thrilled to this day. I have no idea who my secret admirer was, but my crush at the time was standing next to the room as I was walking in. So my little 13 old self was definitely Delulu that he was my secret admirer. Um, he was, he was, if we're never going to get an answer, he was Mm -hmm. wait, what was your Kip story? Oh, I loved him. Did you have something like this too? I just like was so obsessed with this guy. Like so. I feel like we none of us forget like our first like real crush. Yeah. No, I was so obsessed with him. I ended up telling him that he was Kip. <gasps> Anyone who went to high school with me knew that. Wait, well, tell school. the Kip story. Yeah, there, I mean, there's nothing crazy about it. I was just literally obsessed with this guy. Like obsessed with What was his real him. name? Caleb. <gasps> Kip. Mm-hmm. Caleb. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so you told Kip? Yeah. Well, I just remember... I remember I just told, I, I told so many people. I was like, meh, 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 meh. I would like in class, I'd like write Kip all over my binder, all over my hand. Like oh, I yeah. was obsessed. Yeah. So the world knew I, I was in love with this guy named Kip, but no one knew who it was. And then finally, I remember trying to like think of all the people I knew who either I told or just knew. And I think it got up to like 50 people. I was like, <gasps> bitch, I better fucking tell him before someone else. Did you go to school of like 20 people? Exa- no, like there were literally, I think 60 or 80 people in my graduating <gasps> high school class. And they all knew that you like, loved Kip. Like the world Kip. knew. So I was like, ah, oh, I should probably just tell him. So I remember on the last day of school, I went up. This is, I went up. It, it's funny because it wasn't embarrassing, but the way I reacted to it, like made it so awkward. Yeah. So awkward. I literally like went up and he was a, in this room where there was a glass separating. So like you could see the hallway and he was in the room. So I remember going with my friends and I was like, oh, I have to tell him. Like, I just, I was like, I have to tell him. Like, yeah. it's the last day of school. This is perfect. Yeah. I won't see him all summer. Yeah. Worst mistake of my life because- I write your kip on my hand and then I literally put it on the window. That's right, the window. I remember. I put it on the window and I was like, I was like, come here, come here. And I put it on the window. And then he like comes down and looks and he's like, like so shocked. And then he's like, I thought it was Zane because my neighbor I had a crush on took drum lessons from my mom Um. and his name was Zane. So he would come over and I'd always be like, oh my God, he's so cute. And then Kip also played drums. So my mom also gave him drum lessons every now and then. So I they had cross paths him and the, my neighbor so then I was like no and I just stared <laughs> I was like no okay bye and then I left never saw him like all summer but then the first day of school I was so painfully awkward like Aww. I was like I was like I was ang- before I knew what anxiety was I was anxious like I was so I was like I couldn't look at him I couldn't speak to him I was just so like oh my god like it was so it was so embarrassing and I did like you ever talked to him again yeah, we talked because we were in the same like drum line together. Oh, drum line. But then I was just like, oh my God, I look like I'm a stalker. And I looked like I like switched drum sections just so I could be in his section, which I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. And I did. And I would do it again. Oh my um, God. But I just That's remember being, so sweet. It was cute. But like, I just remember being like, oh my God. It was. It's funny because then it, it's such a big deal to you in eighth grade. So like I get this 
this story. Like I get it. Oh, it's just, oh, it seems so big, but then oh, it is so big. At that time, it is so big. Yeah. Um, have I ever told you about my middle school boyfriend that broke up with me in three days because I texted him too much? Oh my god! <laughs> Remember, I sent you a video of him recently. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. It was. I didn't my... realize it was three days. Yeah, it was like three, maybe four days. It's okay, my first relationship was maybe six days. <laughs> Young love. Young love. What can you do? <laughs> he was really nice. He was so cute. He was my boyfriend for three days, and then literally came up to me at like nutrition because we didn't call it recess. It was nutrition. What? Yeah, the that was hell our recess. Is that? He came up to me at nutrition and was like hi and like you know like the kids like crowd around and he was like i'm you know i have to break up with you like you've been texting me too much and i was like okay he called me high maintenance remember I, oh i didn't that's realize the same person. he called me high maintenance and then that stuck with me forever and like honestly he was right <laughs> he was so right and oh then i God. saw him when he was working at the in and out drive through in my hometown a few years not a few years later like when i was in college oh and he was gagged you and your g-wagon hey no am i still high maintenance for Miss- you? <laughs> <laughs> with the fucking purse and with the hair your, your bedazzled license no, plate. No, <laughs> literally hair extensions like in the fucking door, uh, like he's inches. hanging out the door. Oh my god! You he okay? called it. Richard called it early. Okay. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay. Hinge is the dating app designed to be deleted. As you guys know, Remy met her fiance on Hinge, and the prompts those were a huge part of their initial connection process. So I'm currently in the in the process of, you know, redoing my apps. I realized some of my photos were a bit outdated. I had red hair in some. I was brunette in some and realized we had to update not just the photos, but also just my whole profile. It really needed a full on makeover. And I figured what better way than having my number one Hinge success story, a.k.a. Miss Remy Ashton, add her own special touch to my profile. This takes having your friend look over your profile to a whole other level because Hinge makes the profile creation process less daunting by making it easy to get your friends involved. With the voice prompt, my best friend's take on why you should date me, you can lean on your friends to hype you up to potential matches. When I saw that, I thought, I wonder what Remy would say. What would she say of why people should date me? And honestly, I think I'm going to go have her record that for my profile right now as we speak because... Well, now I'm just curious. What would she say? So don't worry. I will keep you guys updated on what she puts. Hopefully it's good. And also it makes me wonder if she was still single. I'm curious what I would record for the voice prompt on her profile. Honestly, it could be anything from how long we've known each other. What was our first impression of each other? Or I can even have her say what my green flags are because we all know my profile needs a little help. Download Hinge and try voice prompts today. Then find someone worth deleting the app for. As you guys know, we love Skims here at Pretty Basic. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear and bras for everybody. As a large booby girly, as we all know, good bras are very hard to come by. But Skims has truly changed the game for me. My personal favorites are the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra, the Fits Everybody plunge bra, and the wireless form t-shirt bra. Getting an actually well-fitted bra has changed the game for me. It also changes your confidence. I don't know. I walk different. My posture. (laughs) Yes. I like didn't know that a bra was, I know this sounds dumb, was fully supposed to like cover your whole boob. Like I thought it was supposed to cut off like half. Uh I didn't know. I'm excited to put a bra on now, which I've never had that in my life. So Skims bras are made with innovative technology to give you the best shape and support. Plus every bra is designed with the comfiest and softest materials. So you feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Skims offers a complete system of bra solutions for every need and style. Skims bras are also available now in 62 sizes, 30A to 46H. I'm wearing their bra right now. <laughs> I love, I, lo- I feel like I only really wear my Skims bras now. I think the one I'm wearing is the scoop bra. I love a scoop bra. The weightless oh, scoop. scoop bra in black, which is their color Onyx. And they also came out recently with their strapless bras. I Ooh, bought like four. That's what you said. <laughs> I need to get one. I love it. Skims, if you're listening, can I have one? Thank you. Seriously, believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims bras are now available at skims.com. Plus get free shipping on orders over $75. If you haven't yet, be sure to let them know that uh, Pretty Basic sent you. Also, if you guys don't mind, after you place your order, you can select podcast in the survey and select our show in the drop down menu that follows and they'll know that you came from Pretty Basic. Next up. Girl, I got a story for you. So my boyfriend and I have been together for five years now, and this unfortunate incident happened on our first Valentine's Day. Keep in mind that we started dating at the end of January, so we are like maybe two or three weeks in. We decided to make margaritas to celebrate V-Day. We were in our first year of university. University. She's probably Canadian. 
So we only had the absolute cheapest tequila you can find. So we made them and they were awful. But of course I drank a little too much. So we start making our way to the bedroom and fast forward, I'm giving him a V-Day BJ and the margaritas and my tummy start <laughs> no, making no, some moves. No. <gasps> oh my God, no. I couldn't stop it from happening. I threw up on him. I have no clue how I secured this man for five years and counting after all of that. Please keep this anonymous for the love of God. Hope to see this horrific story featured on PB. I'm such a big fan. Love you girlies. We love you so much. We love you. Thank you for sharing I'm that so with us. I'm sorry. I'm going to be so honest. As a girly with a very sensitive gag reflex, I've like almost thrown up a lot of times. And also I've always wondered like, do people throw up? Oh, I mean, I figured that happens, but like I, I, <laughs> that would be my worst nightmare. Does anybody after sex feel really nauseous? And throw up. <laughs> well, bitch, you're doing flips. <laughs> it's me. I do. Is that normal? You throw up? I feel, yeah, sometimes, but I usually feel really nauseous. Maybe you gag too many. No, I think I'm just like shaking around a lot. Damn. Like a you little wobble lamp. What the, side to side? <laughs> yeah. Ariana. Gives you vertigo. <laughs> On the floor. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is, um, uh, I would be mortified if I threw up on a guy while giving him a BJ. I'd be mortified. I would be absolute. I would literally walk out and just delete, block my number. I would move. I would literally like change. My, I would just like I, change the zip code. I would, I would the get a new number. I would be like, I, you're just never going to hear from me again. But You'll never see me again. <laughs> if it, it's, oh my God. I would be humiliated. Yeah. But like, it's such a good story. And they're obviously like meant to be, they've been together for five okay, years. That's true. so awesome. That's amazing. But Rem, we are just so different because so different. I, I, oh my God. I'd be mortified, but like I would like a six months later, I'd be laughing really hard. I mean, yeah, if you were still together, but I wouldn't even be able to still be together because I would literally move oh my god i just i don't think i think it's funny no. and i think it's silly I, oh i wish i wish i thought that way also like at least you didn't fall off the fucking bar and like spill your drink everywhere in a group a crowded club like i did like it, this was a private no. moment no. an intimate moment between you and your partner yes. and you made it and it you've stood the test of time I mean, if I was with someone for two years and then did that, it wouldn't be as embarrassing. It'd be like, oh no. Yeah, she did but say like, a few weeks in, but that's like, true. Br like, oh. But like, shout out to your boyfriend. Like that shows that he's such a nice guy who's non-judgmental and like, that's what you no. want in a partner. Okay, yes, lay, work for you. But Honestly, for me. <laughs> let's, um, throwing up on dicks 2024 because what no, a great way no. to weed out the mean guys okay, and yes. keep the sweet ones. Mm. Hashtag throwing up on dicks 2024. <laughs> Next submission. I feel like, I'm more people are gonna relate with me. I'm so sorry. Like, how dare you make our listener feel bad no. about her actions? Hey, she she knows. She said, "Girl, I have a story for you," and she did. She delivered. She, she delivered. Did. That I'm is so crazy. sorry. I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you're putting a penis into your mouth, I'm. You're not the first person to have thrown up. There's I know, no but way. Also, the margaritas. Like, it was probably a, even like. <laughs> okay, this is like so vulgar, but like. Their semen depends on their diet. And if they eat badly, ooh, it's it so bad. So like, different. I mean, you could also like throw uh, up from that. Yeah, but not when it's literal margaritas. Never mind. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say. We were together for eight months and on our first and only Valentine's, my first time having a boyfriend on Valentine's Day, he drives by my house to drop off flowers and chocolate while I was at work. When I saw the flowers in my door, I realized that the name on there wasn't <gasps> mine. This is giving Ryan's roses. Oh that my God. That was my guilty fucking I pleasure. I hated Ryan's roses. Well, I hated it because, oh, sorry, tangent. I would be driving to college. I would park in the thing. They'd always start Ryan's Roses like 10 minutes before eight. I have to be, I never could finish the episode. I uh, never, I'd always, I'd be like, why can't you start five minutes earlier? They would end at 8 a.m. and I'd class at 8 a.m. So I'd be so pissed. I also later I found out it was all fake. It anyway. was fake? Yeah. I believe that actually. Which makes sense. Cause I, like, I give permission to call my, that's like not legal. Oh, like what? I didn't think about that. Anyway, great, great entertainment though. Hearing Ryan Seacrest's voice just like, brings me back to going the having to go to school like middle school high school and i was like oh i hated it Ryan's roses. it's like nails on a chalkboard for okay me. i would sorry i we don't know where this is going already i would spiral being like you sent the wrong but also maybe the flower people mixed it up okay let it let me finish when i saw the flowers at my door i realized that the name on there wasn't mine i didn't think of it 
I didn't think much of it and just assumed the flower company made a mistake. So I texted him basically saying, oh, thanks, babe, but they messed up my name. Ha ha. He reads my message almost immediately, but doesn't respond. I then get suspicious because this is not an ordinary name. So I checked his Insta following <gasps> and lo and behold, no. there was a girl who posted no. the same flowers to her story, joking how her man was cheating. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, okay, Slay. I DM'd her and when he was hanging out with her that same night, I showed up unannounced to his house. Safe to say we both left him. Wait, okay. If there's one outcome that's gonna come from this, that's a really good outcome. I love a girl's girl. I love a girl's girl. And also I think it's good to realize like maybe the other, like not, a lot of times the other person doesn't know that they're also being cheated on. Yes. Like one of my girlfriends actually was with this guy for I think three years and then- found out he had been cheating on her for the past, like the last few months of their relationship. So she met up with the girl at a bar. They exchanged stories, exchanged all the information. And then she took a photo with the girl. Posted it? No. Then sees him for a date, like very much later. They get in the car and she's like, oh, by the way, I wanted you to look at this. Shows him the photo of her with the girl, like the two of them. And he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's like, no. Gets out of the car. Never speaks to him no. again. Quite literally, I will ruin, like that, I would do that. I would, oh, and I would, I would enjoy every second. As you should. I would enjoy every second of, see, you know, when you see that moment of someone's face change, <gasps> it's like, that was the last time. Like, and like I, what I love. The light fade out. Oh, it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life flashing before his eyes. Also, like, I love that she didn't let him explain himself. Mm -mm. No. She was like, no. no. I was like, did he call you? She was like, yeah. Did I pick, did I said, did you pick up? No. Good. Amazing. Good. I'm so proud of her. Oh my God. I that know. was your friend? Holy shit. My friend. Okay, another one. Hey girls, hope you're doing well. Please don't mention my name for the sake of my dignity. We will not. Love okay. you though. So I was in a situation ship for about two months with this French guy. Whoa, whoa. Oui, oui. Oui. Now you would expect French guys to be romantic and stuff, but the reality is much more different. Anyways, Valentine's Day comes around the corner and I was so excited that I planned a home date with French homeboy. French homeboy. Uh -huh. I was prepping dinner and dessert. Actually the creme brulee recipe from Cooking with Remy. Shut up. Oh my okay. God. Okay, promo. Go subscribe. I hope it was Remy. good. Yeah, I hope it was good. Got ready. Wait, real quick. Sorry, was it the matcha? Was it the banana? Oh was God, the vanilla? No. It was so good. I like the matcha a lot. That, I do too. Got ready, cute outfit, hottest set of lingerie. I was feeling myself. Hottest set of lingerie in caps. The guy shows up in a track suit with a big backpack. I'm so sorry. A backpack is so ick. Like, what do you have in there? What is it? There? You have an outfit change? A fucking toothbrush. First of all, I was so like, um, okay, whatever. Puts on the PSG soccer game because it was just because it just so happens to be that it was on Valentine's Day. Couldn't care less about me. Takes out a hookah. Ah! <laughs> I actually screamed. I'm screaming. <gasps> A no. from said backpack and I was in shock. It gets worse, promise me. I didn't say much because I was so freaking disappointed. So I went to take off my makeup and I was hearing noises back in the kitchen inside his backpack. Oh my God, <gasps> no, no. I kid you not. No, is there an animal? This man tried to steal meat and Coke from my fridge. <laughs> so I kicked him out, blocked him and that was the craziest Valentine's Day Wait. ever. First of all, you should not be embarrassed. Wait, this is hilarious. She heard noises. She heard noises coming from the kitchen. He was ruffling and taking stuff out of her fridge and putting it into his backpack and stealing oh, things. Oh, she got scam scammed. Oh my God. Also, laundry is expensive. Oh, meat is expensive. <laughs> Are okay, you not, kidding me? Not everyone's buying Wagyu. <laughs> but I mean, a steak is still 15 bucks. You know, That's you're right, expensive. You're right, you're right. Wow. Oh my God. That is- That's actually scary. I'd be like- I, I don't, yeah, good for you for kicking him out. Also, I don't know why I'm, you know, how indespicable me when he's, the evil guy's wearing the orange tracksuit. Yes, That's what I'm Vector. picturing. Uh, yes, so I'm picturing, I'm not like a cool sleep. I'm picturing like a bright orange or a bright blue. Just we're straight up Adidas, Just, yeah. the stripes on the side. Yeah. Oh my God. That kind of reminds me of that um, TikTok that went really viral for Elise Myers, where she said she like went on a date. Have you seen this one? Uh, Keep going. Oh my God. She went on this date. She met this guy on Tinder. I think it was like a, a dating app. Uh, He invited her over or like wanted to go on a date, but he was like, oh, but I can't drive. Like, can you come pick me up? So she said, she was like, okay. Like she didn't think anything of it. She goes to like, go to his house. He gets in the car and he's like, can we go to Taco Bell? And she was like, um, okay. So they go to Taco Bell. She, he orders like a hundred tacos, like those big party packs, like two big party packs. He gets back in the, like they, they, she, he goes, oh, I didn't bring my wallet. Can you pay? No. She pays for the tacos. No. She, Please. She's, no, you have to watch it. She like, she tells the story so funny because she's such a good storyteller. But also she, if I was in the car, like, I'm not going to be like, 
no, I'm not going to pay for it. Like, I would you be already like, ordered two. I would be like, this is awkward. Like, what the fuck? But I would pay for yeah. it. I wouldn't want to, but yeah. like, I'm not going to be like, like, I would just, I hate, co- I hate conflicts. I think like, this is when you have to learn your lesson. Like you don't yeah. go pick up a date. You don't, and then you don't immediately. Also Wait, like, keep going, stranger keep danger. Going. They get back to his house and he like, is like, come, you want to come inside? She goes inside. He like lives with his, his whole family's there. They go to the kitchen. They walk through everything. He sits the tacos down on the table, sits down and starts just eating tacos. Like just starts unwrapping them and eating this them. This is a first date. Yeah. As she's just sitting there. And then I think she said at one point, like his dad came in. She's like, thank God, like someone, someone. to like, yeah, like make, th- make well, this also, better. Imagine me like, hi, my name. <laughs> you know, he didn't introduce them. Scarfing Doritos Locos tacos. <laughs> and then. Love Taco Bell. And then um, the dad. I think just took some tacos. Like either he sat, he either sat there well, eating them or like grabbed them and left. Like she, he was no help. She gets so mad. She puts all the tacos into the box and leaves. Good. Okay. Cause I was going to say, I think this guy's done it before. And he just is like getting dinner for the family. <sighs> like he probably had done that before. I no. was like, I forgot my wallet. That's such a, that's so scammy, but also like so innovative. But also like <laughs> <laughs> innovative. <laughs> what a way to get dinner on the table. No. Okay. Wow. I'm glad she one. took them with her. Yes. Last one. This is so fun. I love this. Hello, Remy and Alicia. I love Pretty Basic much and have since 2018. Oh my God. Hey. Thank you. While this story is honestly pretty sad, I still laugh at it now and then. So about a year ago, this guy and I had been talking for about a year and we decided to have a picnic for Valentine's Day. Super cute, right? No. Uh-oh. We get to the park and I see an empty picnic basket. And when asked why, this man said, well, I did ask you out on Valentine's Day. You couldn't put in your half? I almost laughed. This man believed that because he asked me out that in return, I should have provided us with everything else we needed for the date. Safe to say that it was cut early and the rest of that day was spent. No. And the rest of that day was spent watching corny love story movies while hugging the stuffed animal. He got me once on a date. Thank you for listening to my story and continue to keep being the amazing and inspiring woman. You are sincerely basic babe. J love basic you. J babe. J I, that's just, <sighs> Men have one thing and it's the audacity. And I here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can't imagine the embarrassment I would have going anywhere with an empty picnic basket. Why even bring the basket? Exactly. Like like truly th- truly try to get you brought a blanket and a basket. Like but like the 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 point. purpose <laughs> of a basket is to tow things. Food. Why tow air? No. Like why even bring the basket? And also like communicate to like a certain degree. I understand. Like, I do think he could have been like, Hey, like, do you want to go on a date? Like I'll pick the spot. I'll bring all like the the blankets and stuff. Do you want to grab some like crackers and cheese? And like, let's go. Yeah. I've had guys be like, Oh, like, let's do this. Like I'll bring the Marg stuff or like whatever the case is. And I just thought of the girl throwing up. (laughs) Marg. We're never going to think of Marg the same. Um, Oh my God. But yeah, there's that communication. So he's just weird. I'm so sorry. Also get, get rid of the teddy bear. You don't need, well, unless you really love it, but like, it's just, no. What was the worst date you've been on? Ever? Ever. Probably where, uh, it, it's like in what way worse? Probably the one where the, uh, <gasps> please say it. Um, Probably the one, uh, see there's different ones, different where I'm like in different ways they were bad, but this one came to my mind first. Um, Probably the one where I'm on a date with this guy and you know, obviously I have to explain what I'm doing and I'm saying I'm an influencer or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, and he's like, oh yeah, I, um, I've only met one other influencer and I'm like, oh my God, do I know her? And then he, and then he proceeds to tell me that, um, he actually had gone on a date with this influencer and I was like, oh, who do I know her? Are we friends? You know, like run in the same <laughs> circle, same circle, small world. And then he says that it is a very controversial, um, male youtuber and let me just pause the (laughs) most controversial youtuber my mouth was on the floor i was like wait uh, wait do you you know what i mean no yeah yeah. no 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 do you there is that is the problem it's the problem that it's the most controversial youtuber and like we're scared to say the name like that's that's how bad it is (laughs) and for me i was like wait well, here's the thing. And to, to his lovely defense, he was telling me the story, but he was explaining it like it was a business dinner. But the whole time he's going about it, I'm like, you realize this is a date. 
Um, like he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, we connected. He was like, yeah, he slid in the DMS and I was like, oh, this would be really good for my business. So let's get dinner. Like, okay, we get dinner. And I'm like, mm, okay. Like he slid in, he wasn't like trying to do business, but like, okay, mm. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. And then he's like, yeah, we're at dinner. And like, we barely talk about business. He just keeps being like, yeah, you should come over to my house after mm-hmm. um, we're having a huge after party. There's going to be like lots of girls, blah, 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 but like very flirty. And I was like, so you didn't go, right? No, he went. <gasps> and I was like, oh, did he have a good went? time? I hope he did. But I also was just like, that is not the way I thought this was gonna go. And instantly I was like, oh my God, like I don't think this guy realized like he went on a date with this person. And on top of it- I kind of love it. No, I love it, yeah. but I hated it for me. I was like, okay, like, you know, it's just those, those are those LA moments. I wish I could say who it was. Those are those LA moments that I was just like, this is shit you could make up. Like you back home in Riverside, never thought you would have been at that table with that man who told that story. I, sh- I know. That's I so iconic. Know. And oh, well, that, not, the, I, not the controversial YouTuber part. I but. think it, and it was more so the worst date in the sense of where I was like, oh, I'm just like not into this Ugh, at all. That's so hard. Like yeah. it was one of those. It wasn't like, oh, it was just so bad and embarrassing. I was just like, oh, I feel like I'm just like with my girls getting, having gossip. Mm. <laughs> I was like, and then what happened? But I kind of like, love that though. No, no, they it were was comfortable. Fun. It was just like a bad date in yeah. itself yeah. because I was like, no oh, spark. like I'm just bored, no spark. And then for him to name drop that, I was like, I was like, oh. No, at least you got a good story out of it. And he kept saying, he was like, yeah, I, I thought he was trying to like hit on me. And I was like, well, were you leading him on? He he probably was. <laughs> I was like, and that's fine if you were into it, but just let me know. <laughs> okay, I am here. At least he did pay for my dinner, you know? So, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It was fine. You got a good story. I have a great story out of it. There's some more, but I think that was up there for my top three worst dates. Mm-hmm. How about you? Hmm. Now I know all the comments are going to be people guessing who it was. I know. <laughs> I can't wait. Go pop off, pop off. Mm, probably turtle dude. Or, cause I never want to see explicits of that one. Yeah. And I won't, I won't, I won't. Remember that time that that guy took me out and was most definitely probably coked out. Oh my God. <laughs> no, Rem, Rem. <laughs> you know what's funny is the girl was like, I was so Delulu. Like that was you being like, I think he loves me. It was I just, so funny. That was, that was, I think he was just on something. I like didn't t- know at the time. I just thought he was high on life, but You're I like, think wow, he was he, high on other so things. He's so in love with me. He, not even he, that. <laughs> I was just like, he's really excited to be here. Like he's really excited. <laughs> this is awesome. He's like the plant. <laughs> no, it was, that was a really fun one. I, I remember, I think that was the same guy where you were like, oh yeah, he asked me to come to the beach and just like watch him surf. Yeah. No, he was <laughs> such a nice guy. I hope he's doing well in his ventures. I hope he is too. Yeah. He was really nice. That was just really scary. But he, but also so funny. Maybe he just wanted to like be your best friend. I would have loved. No, you would have loved. But again, just let us know. Yeah. You know, just, just like, a little forewarning. Just a little like, hey girl, like something. Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> Want to watch me surf? <laughs> Can you get content of me coming out of the water in my I speedo? Mean, absolutely. <laughs> of course. You're like, yeah, let me get the light. <laughs> let me get my steady cam. <laughs> but just let me know. Yeah. Just, just let, let me, know. me know. Just let a girl know. You know, because that really depends how ready I get for this said date. <sighs> You know, yeah. is it an everything shower or is it just like a hair on the head? <laughs> Put it in a bun. Hair on my head. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for sending in those, uh, some of those emails. Keep sending emails to that email, which is info at prettybasic.com. We'll have it in the description for any future episodes where we need to react to some of your guys' stories. Feel free just to like put the title PB advice and maybe give it a little theme to it. And I'm excited to introduce a new UA inspired segment. Shout out UA. We love you guys. Go subscribe to Unsolicited Advice and subscribe to this podcast, Pretty Basic. Don't forget to subscribe also on the YouTube channel. And if you've made it to the very end, please comment below your favorite Valentine's Day candy. Ooh, that's actually good. Also make sure to get it the day after so it's on sale. Good idea. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Love you, bye.